Hello, my name is Michael Pritchard and I joined the Royal Photographic Society as a schoolboy back in 1979 so that I could become a member of the Society's historical group. And today I want to tell you a little bit about the group, what it does and why people join it. So I joined because I wanted to learn much more about cameras and photographs and where they'd come from. But we have group members who come from a range of different backgrounds and with different motivations for joining the group. They may have been a photographer wanting to be inspired by past photographs, a collector of photographs or cameras wanting to learn more about their subject area, or someone working with historic and alternative processes, or simply a professional curator, archivist or conservator wanting to be part of a network of interested people. For many members though, they join simply because they have a general interest in the history of photography in all its many varied aspects. As a young member, my interest was encouraged and supported and I learnt an enormous amount from the other members of the group and they were generous in sharing their specialist knowledge with me. More recently, I've been able to do the same, sharing my own expertise with group members, society members, and putting something back in as a volunteer, helping to deliver the group's publications and events program. The RPS Historical Group celebrated its 50th anniversary in 2022 with a conference that included a look at photography's history across the 19th, 20th and 21st centuries. It was an opportunity to remind ourselves that when it was formed, the group's aims and continue to be to promote knowledge of the history of photography in all its aspects and to encourage the preservation of photographs, photographic equipment and documents relating to the history of photography. That might sound quite daunting, but those general aims ensure that the group can welcome everyone, whether you're just interested in where photography has come from and where also it might be going into the future, or whether you're working as a curator or lecturer, or you're simply researching an aspect of photographic history or your own family history as a student, a genealogist or historian. The group offers a supportive community of like-minded individuals, curious about cameras, excited about equipment and fascinated by photographs, who all want to see and learn more about how photography has evolved over its past 190 years. The group's publication, The Photo Historian, provides an opportunity to read about a diverse range of subjects through articles, book reviews and other members' research. And of course, its pages are available to you to share your own specialist knowledge and own research within photographic history. The Photo Historian doesn't just go to members, it also goes to a range of libraries and museums across the world, meaning your research will get a very wide audience. The group's monthly online talks are led by curators of collections of photography across the United Kingdom. Recent talks have explored collections of industrial photography in Liverpool, photographs of 1980s Bradford, the archive of Faye Godwin held at the British Library, and subjects ranging from the autochrome and colour photography, photography of sculpture, to the work of photographers such as John Thompson and the Society's founder, Roger Fenton. Most of the talks have been recorded and are available free to view on the group's YouTube channel. For me as a photo historian, I've particularly enjoyed the opportunity to visit collections of photography in the company of our fellow members. And the Royal Photographic Society's name has opened doors to collections, archives and libraries of photography, not always available to the general public. These visits are mainly across the United Kingdom, but they've also gone into Europe, to France for example, to Hungary and elsewhere. Some of the collections that have been particularly memorable for me have been to the Victoria and Albert Museum to see the RPS collection there to the Royal Collection at Windsor, where we were treated to seeing some of Victoria's and Albert's own photographic collection going right back to the origins of photography.
And in France, we visited the Bibliothèque Nationale, where we saw some of the earliest photography and letters from the Epps from the 1820s. And of course, we've also visited the two birthplaces of photography. In England, that's Laycock Abbey, and in France, it's at chalon sur saone The group has also visited many exhibitions of photography across the United Kingdom and also into Europe, and usually led by the curator who's put that exhibition together. So it gives a very special insight into the exhibition that we're looking at. In addition to these visits, the group also manages the RPS's biennial Herter and Driffield Memorial Lecture, which has been held since 1919, and a special lecture series named in honour of Colin Ford. It holds a regular research day in partnership with Sheffield Hallam University, which provides an opportunity for students of all ages to share their ongoing research for feedback and comment. And it also holds live events demonstrations of historic processes, for example, talks and symposia. Group membership is just £20 and whatever you are interested in the history of photography, you'll be welcome to join us to learn, to share your own interests and photographic knowledge and to satisfy that curiosity that we all have about photography's past and also its future. Please check out the link below and we look forward to welcoming you to membership.